So this is the notorious Psy. Amazing! Toya. Toya Meijin. And he's playing Sai. <laughs> Your big game isn't till next week. You know, I don't mind you dropping by and spending time with me. But you could at least pretend you like being here. You don't have to be so serious all the time. Yeah, but right now I have to focus on Go. <laughs> You're no fun. Being all tense isn't going to help you win, but it's your choice. I'll still be cheering for you. I bet you don't even remember what title I'm playing for. I let the Honinbo series slip away from me in the final game against Kuwabara Sensei. I don't intend to let it happen again. I think I'll swing by the hospital on my way home. Pay my Judon series opponent a quick visit, see how he's doing. <gasps> he's not allowed any visitors? Excuse me. Is everything okay? Is Toya Sensei all right? Oh, you mean because of the sign? Everything's fine with him. We only put the sign up because Mr. Toya asked us to yesterday. He asked you to? He said he didn't want to be disturbed by anyone all day, not even his family. He's been taking this Internet Go very seriously, especially today. Internet Go? Yes. He's involved in a game. I went into his room to pick up the lunch tray, but he hadn't touched his plate. Are all professional Go players like this? playing that would be important enough to turn away visitors and he asked them to put up a sign for him yesterday which means he knew ahead of time that he'd be playing this game when did he arrange it and with who oh there it is <gasps> sigh Toya Sensei's taking his time with this one. I don't see why. They're already in the early stages of the endgame. Wouldn't expanding here be the safest move for him? Hmm, you could be right. So why the delay? We must be missing something. Hey, why don't we set up the game on a board? Sure. You're not going down to the hospital? Your father told me not to bother him today. Hmm? Really? How come? <laughs> he said he wants to play a game of Go on the internet without any interruptions. He didn't just log on randomly and start playing. He arranged the game with Sai ahead of time. Huh? <gasps> Toya Sensei's threatening a cut? From that side? Interesting. You mean here? You know, that seems a bit unusual to me. Not really. I bet he's gonna return to this spot after he's taken more territory. That's a possibility. Unless he wants to settle this area in Sente, then shift to the right-hand side. I still think expanding's the way to go. Either way, looks good to me. I don't know. I think Toya has the right idea on this one. Whatever. Black's got this game in the bag as long as he plays safe. It does look like Black's got the advantage, but the game's still very close. Toya Meiji knows that he won't beat his opponent by playing conservatively. I bet he wants to attack White's territory at the top of the board before moving on to gain some of his own. Could be. 
I can't believe the way Sai's managing to read this game. It's like he's got a sixth sense about what his opponent's going to do and is able to come up with a plan to stay in control. He's always in control. There's no way he'd let this game come to an end without fighting back to regain the lead. That's how he plays. Always. The way you're talking, sounds like you know Sai. I played an online game with him a couple of summers ago. As soon as the game was over, he disappeared off the internet. No one knew if or when he'd ever show himself again. The Sai you played is the same guy who's playing today? And here he is, playing your father. My father made plans to play against Sai. Does that mean he actually knows him? The only time he left the hospital was when they allowed him to be released for the fourth game of the Judon series. Was that when he met up with Sai to make the arrangements for our game online? If not, it must have been someone who came to visit him at the hospital. He's had lots of visitors. Was Sai one of them? <gasps> oh, I forgot to tell you. I met one of your friends at the hospital. Nice boy. He came to see if your father was okay. I think his name was Shindo. Shindo was at the hospital. No, it can't be. It's not possible. There can't be a connection between him and Sai. How could the Meijin have arranged this game? He must have done it in person, by meeting someone face to face. But how? He doesn't have any idea how to use email. So it was either someone who bumped into him when we were playing at the Judon series, or it was someone who paid him a visit at the hospital. No, Shindo can't be Sai. When I saw him play at the Young Lions tournament, his game was nowhere as advanced as Sai's. Anyway, if he was Sai, he would have attracted far more attention as an Insei. Still, even if they aren't the same person. It's possible Shindo knows Sai's identity. And if Shindo doesn't know Sai, then there's got to be someone else in our circle who's connected to him. How does someone play this well against a major champion with us knowing so little about him? Sai, who exactly are you? You've got to have some idea. You've played him. Who do you think this Sai is? Hikaru! Are you Sai? <gasps> I don't know who he is. Nobody does. Whoever he is, he must be really good to do this well against Toya Sensei. He's one of the best players in the world. Maybe Sai's a famous pro in disguise. He could be from China or Korea or somewhere. Hmm. Do you think you can find out where he's accessing the internet from? <laughs> yeah, right. If I knew something more about computers, maybe I could find out, but you've got the wrong guy. It's definitely not Shindo. Sai has the strength of someone who's been playing the game for a long time. When I think back to that game on the internet two years ago, it's almost like I can picture him lurking in the darkness. Yes, I can see you. You're not Shindo. Who are you? And if you're not Shindo, then... <gasps> then why? Why is there something about you that reminds me of Shindo? It was that first game I played against him. <gasps> oh. Oh. Black 
has the advantage and the early part of the endgame is coming to a close. However, I can't afford to make even the tiniest of errors. Not against an opponent like this. I can feel an unusual air surrounding this game. With every move, every stone, I'm sure I felt this way before. Yes. This intensity, this pressure seems familiar. What? Now that's a fantastic move. The white stone can't be captured. All that black territory, gone. It was close to begin with, but now... I could be wrong, but it looks like black's lost control. That move took a lot of guts. Now that it's been played, we can all see how it was the best possible move to make. But how many people would dare to play it? Or even have the foresight to see the move in the first place? He's under pressure. It's not like he's been playing badly or anything, but now... The match has suddenly become wide open! It's anyone's game at this point. Oh boy, is this possible? The game's even. No, wait. Toya Meijin! He's losing! Sensei's been beaten? I don't believe it! Sai won! But that's... <gasps> what did he resign for? They, they were neck and neck! I know they were in the final part of the endgame, but things were still so close. I don't understand. He already knew how it was gonna end? But there was only a half a point in it. He could have fought back. Unreal! I can't get my head around the fact that Toya Sensei actually resigned. Unbelievable. 
Choi and Meijin played a careful game like he normally does, and he didn't make any mistakes. And yet Sai still defeated him. Everything hinged on that one big move he made, and the way he followed through on it. Strange, though. Was there really no way for Toya sensei to turn it around? Maybe not. No! There must have been a way! Sai, who are you? Shindo. It's certainly a possibility. It's the old Shindo. I can see him in Sai. But... That doesn't explain everything! It is finished. Koyo Toya. I could feel myself trembling at each one of your moves, not out of fear, but with excitement and joy. I feel honored to have had the opportunity to play such a great player. Thank you, Koyo Toya. And thank you, Hikaru. Hikaru? This move. Huh? Toya Sensei was anticipating a cut here, in which case, it would totally be the right place to go. But what would have happened if before that. Huh? He'd played inside. The group in the corner? You see? White would have been forced to block. That way, he'd have gained more ground during the game. So if Black had played inside the group first, instead of protecting his territory, the game would have been turned around. You would have lost, Sai. Uh, he's right. Hikaru's right. Well then, what do you think? I understand. The reason my spirit has endured for a millennium is so I could show Hikaru this one game and guide him toward the divine move.